we will see Lorentz transformation. Let we will consider two free. Let S and S dash be the two rectangular inertial frames of reference with their axis OX and OX dash collinear. These are two frames. Initially, when time is zero, this O is coinciding, O dash is coinciding exactly on O. As the time passes, this frame S dash, which is having axis X dash, Y dash and Z dash, it is moving along the X direction with velocity V. So, after time T, the distance between this O and O dash is Vt. There will be no change along Y and Z direction. It is moving only in the X direction. Let V be the uniform velocity of the frame frame S dash relative to the frame S in positive x direction. Suppose, suppose the two origins O and O dash coincide at time t is equal to t dash is equal to 0 and at that instant a pulse of light is initiated from the source at that time some source are there and at some instant of time a pulse of light is emitted out by the source which is at the origin O of the frame S since the speed of light as we know that speed of light is constant constant and is independent of the motion of the frame of reference we have for the observer at O in the frame S X is equal to CT. Now we already know that how this came. We know that speed is equal to distance upon time. Speed we denote it by C. Distance is X time is T for X is equal to CT. From this we, will, we took X is equal to CT or T can be written as X by C. Equation 1. Now if the observer is in the O dash frame which is moving frame. For the observer at O dash in the frame S dash X dash is equal to C T dash because C is velocity of light which is constant so we will not change that we will only change X dash and T dash therefore from this equation T dash is equal to X dash by C this is equation number 2 since there is one relative 
velocity v the transformation equation transformation equation must satisfy the following condition following conditions first the coordinates of o dash in the frame s is vt and second very important the coordinate of o in the frame s dash is minus vt dash so we will simply the simplest equation the simplest equation which satisfy these condition are x dash is equal to k times x minus vt this is equation 3 and if we want to write in terms of x x is equal to k times x dash plus vt dash equation number 4 the factor k must be same in both the frames very important both the frame one is at rest and second is moving with velocity v for both the condition the factor k must be the same the factor k must be same in both the frames as the relative motion of s and s dash is confined to only x direction there is no change in y and y dash so y dash is equal to y and z dash is equal to z now substituting the value of t and t dash in equation 1 2 in equation 3 and 4 we will get substituting the value of t and t dash from equation 1 and 2 in equation 3 and 4 we get x dash is equal to k times x minus vt in place of t we will write x upon c which is equal to k we can take x outside x 1 minus v by c similarly for x is equal to k times x dash plus v x dash upon c we can take k x dash x dash has common so in the bracket x plus v by c this is equation 5 this is equation 6 now we will multiply equation 5 and 6 multiplying multiplying equation 5 and 6 we get x dash x is equal to k square x x dash 1 minus v by c into 1 plus v by c this will get cancelled 1 is equal to k square 1 minus v square by c square or k square is equal to 1 upon 1 minus v square by c square which implies k is equal to 1 upon under root 1 minus v square upon c square this is equation number 7 now substituting substituting this value of k in equation 3 we obtain 
x dash is equal to x minus vt upon under root 1 minus v square upon c square. Equation number 8. From equation 2, t dash is equal to x dash by c. x minus vt upon c under root 1 minus v square by c square x by c minus v t by c upon under root 1 minus v square by c square therefore t dash is equal to t minus vx upon c square because in place of this we can write as t upon under root 1 minus v square upon c square equation 9 hence Lorentz transformation equation for space and time coordinates are x dash is equal to x minus vt upon under root 1 minus v square upon c square y dash is equal to y z dash is equal to z and t dash is equal to t minus v x dash upon c square upon under root 1 minus v square upon c square. Similarly, the inverse Lorentz transformation equation can be written by replacing v by minus v and writing x, y, z uh, replacing x, y, z and t by x dash, y dash, z dash and t dash. So, we will write that to Lorentz, Lorentz inverse transformation equation can be obtained by replacing, replacing v by minus v and x, y, z, t by x dash, y dash, z dash, t dash respectively. Therefore, equation becomes x. x is equal to x dash plus v, t upon under root 1 minus v square by c square. y is equal to y dash. z is equal to z dash. And t is equal to t dash plus v x upon uh, upon c square under root 1 minus v square upon c square.